Hey, what's up guys? It's Cardi Fox, and welcome to CSX Oak Point Yard on Foxshot. So I'm going to be showing you how to build these two locomotives we have today, the CSX GP38-2, as well as the GP48-2. And they look very, very similar, so that's why I'm doing these two in the same video. So I'm just going to be showing you how to bake the GP38-2 first, and then we're going to convert it later to a GP40-2 if you guys want. So, uh, let's go over the new changes with this build. I actually have a new design for the CSX boxcar logo on the side. It's more accurate and it looks more aesthetically pleasing than the other one. I also added these signs underneath uh, where the stairwell is, right behind, just to make it a little more accurate. And uh, for the difference between the 38 and the 40, is that the 38 you'll see in the back this is actually in real life there's supposed to be like two uh, vents here for the radiator fans while the GP40-2 they have like three different fans over here and then uh, their side radiator grid is actually longer as well like that and also the bell here for the GP38 is down here while the other one it is right underneath uh, this beacon here for the lamp and also another uh, thing that's different is the side right over here with the dynamic brake housing it's a bit longer on the GP40-2 compared to the GP38-2 see the difference uh, but other than that that is I believe that's pretty much it on the build I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and the reason why I'm making it in CSX Oak Point Yard in the first place is I thought it would be fitting since uh, this is the yard I rail fanned in real life, and I saw a lot of CSX GP38 deus. That's why I wanted to make this build in the first place. But yeah, let's get started. First off, let's grab some materials. Nether brick stairs, a chain block, dark oak slab, dark oak fence gate, dark oak trap door, acacia sign, oak sign, nether brick slab. And uh, we'll add in an oak fence. So first off, we'll add in the middle area. That's going to be another brick stairs. Cornered on the side of it. Upside down on the edge. And then right side up right in the middle of this. And upside down next to it. Then in the middle, we'll add dark oak fence gate. Two of them. And this one on the outer edge is going to be opened up towards the inside. Add a dark oak slab on top in the middle. And then we'll go right to the back, add in a dark or another brick stairs upside down like that. Outer edge, we'll add in these two oak slabs and we'll add an acacia sign in the back of one of the, the bottom slab. Okay, then we'll add in a chain to the side of the slab here. Also take out um, oak fence, we'll make it two by two. Like that. Then we'll grab, um, let's see, an acacia fence gate, a black concrete. We can grab it. And also um, an oak fence gate. So add an acacia fence gate in the middle, open that up towards the front. Then we'll add in two black concretes. Then we'll add a dark oak trap door right inside these slabs and we'll close them up. Also add um, in the front of this another brick slab right in the middle on top. And then we'll make it two blocks wide right behind it like that. Then we'll add a dark oak trap door in the front in the middle and we'll close that up. And we'll also add a chain right here on the middle the side of that. Then we'll add an oak fence gate here. And then diagonally down, we'll add two. And then we'll open the bottom two up towards the middle of this and the inner one towards the outside. All right. Now we'll add in another brick slab, two blocks wide. And then we'll take out some materials, uh, this gray terracotta hopper, daylight detector, Dark oak stairs. Uh, that nether brick stairs. And also another brick wall. 
So let's go here right after the slap. And we'll add a gray terracotta, dark oak stairs, and then nether brick stairs back to back, upside down. Let's skip a block, gray terracotta, and the dark oak stairs. Then we'll add hoppers to sides of the wheels. Then we'll make a row across the side here with dark oak fence gates, and we'll open it up towards the hoppers and towards each other in the middle. Then we'll add a nether brick slab above the hoppers. Next to it, a daylight detector. And then nether brick slabs in the middle of this. All right. Then the inside of this, we'll add upside down nether brick stairs next to the terracottas. A solid nether brick block next to the stairs, the dark oak stairs. And the middle of this is going to be dark oak fence gates open that up towards the nether brick blocks. Then we'll go across the middle at black concrete all the way to this end here. Then we'll add in uh, nether brick stairs back to back. It's going to be lined up underneath or actually above the wheels that are underneath. And two nether brick walls in the middle of that. All right, and then in the back, we'll add dark oak trap, I mean, fence gate, open it up towards the wheel. And we'll do the same thing in the front wheel. Let's open it up towards the front. It is a bit tricky to put that there, like that. All right, so then over here, we'll add in these two blocks wide, nether brick slabs. Then we'll add black concrete, we'll make a two by two. And to the side, add Upside down, nether brick stairs, and we're going to make it so it's seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we'll make a two by two black concrete in the back of this. Go in the front, add two nether brick slabs. And we'll add in upside down nether brick stairs for the rest of this. Like that. Then we'll add in the back um, two nether brick slabs like this. Okay, so let's go, I guess, back to the front. We'll add in an uh, oak fence, and we're going to add that to the side of this. And it will be two oak fence. I'm going to try to find out. I think it's, like, right over here. Right to the side of that, like that. All right, so once we've done that, that's all we can do. Uh, where to copy from the slab here all the way to the pilot and build it on the other side where the slab is All right, so once we have the back part, let's go in the front And we'll delete this fence towards the middle add in another brick wall item frame with a smooth quartz block inside. That's going to be our ditch light Then we will move to the back Add in the back if it does not have a plow, so we're going to delete these blocks here and make a two by two of black concrete like that and that's all we have to do right there and then we will go to the side of this add in another brick slab here then we'll go in the front take out yellow concrete and lapis lazuli dark prismarine slab so we'll go in the front here add two yellow concretes in a diagonal so one and two, and then add lapsuli, add yellow here, and then two more yellows on top. Then we'll go to the side, add in um, lapsuli. Uh, now this section, it's going to be, um, I guess I would say, six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we'll go in the front, add two dark prismarine slabs, and then we'll make a U shape three blocks wide of blue concrete and we're going to make it three blocks tall like that add yellow concrete in the middle of that then we'll go to the back add in lapsuli we're going to make it two in the diagonal like this and on top we'll add two yellows then lapsuli in the middle yellow to the side then two yellows in the middle then we'll add um, birch Fence gate in the middle, we'll open that up. An oak button underneath in front of that lapis zuli. And then we'll go 
back into the front, add an oak button in front of that lapislazuli. And then we'll take out a uh, yellow glass pane, warp button, uh, and I guess that's it for now. So just add a warp button to the side of that, and yellow glass panes at the top of the bottom. All right, so then behind it, we'll add a lapislazuli, two blocks all like that. And I'm going to fill in the middle part as well, and then this inner part. Then we'll add in black glass block, blue glass pane. So we'll add two blue, I mean black glass here. Blue glass pane in the middle, black glass to the side, cab. Then we'll add in dark prism rain stairs on the corners of the cab. Smooth quartz slab in the middle. Then we'll add a lapizuli, two of them on diagonal. And smooth quartz slab, and that's going to be two by two here, and fill in the space in the middle and the front. Then we'll take out a uh, birch sign, stone button, uh, white carpet, snow layer. So we'll add in birch sign right here to the side, stone button in the middle, white carpet above this lapisuli, and then snow layers. So this is going to be three layers tall, and we're going to make it two blocks long like that. I've seen a lot of these modern CSX locomotives, they have this on top. Uh, but also BNSF, I think they use this as well. Anyways, next we'll add in a uh, warp button, oak button, acacia button, dark oak button. So we'll add three dark oak buttons at the bottom, oak button in the middle, oak button on this, diagonally up from both sides, and a warp button in the middle of that. Then we'll add a acacia button towards the front right there in the cab. Then we'll add in uh, this nether brick uh, fence, dark oak fence, dark oak fence gate. So we'll add nether brick fence at the bottom, dark oak fence on top, and dark oak fence gate right behind. And we'll add another oak fence right there. Then we'll add a nether brick uh, slab inside this nook here. Let's go uh, right back to the back and we'll take out bedrock and we're going to make a 2 by 4 in the middle. Add dark prism rain slabs, 3 blocks long, top to bottom. And then we'll add oak stairs at the top to the bottom of this. Take out a uh, birch sign, we'll add that right there to the side of that uh, fence gate. Then on top of the roof, we'll add in lapizuli. Now this is going to go all the way across the center to the front. Then up over here, we'll add in two bedrocks and lapizuli for the rest of this. Then we'll add in daylight detector, a blue carpet. So add daylight detectors on top of the bedrocks. Make them all blue and add blue carpet all the way around this. Okay, then we'll go ahead and add in a warp button to the side. And skip a block, add one. And then we're gonna skip three blocks and then add one. Then we'll skip a block and add in a two by two warped trap doors and then two warped trap doors in the middle and blue carpet on top of these bed rocks. Then we will add in these little smokestacks. I don't even know what they're called. Um, they're going to be the zombie heads. And you'll notice the GP40 doesn't have this one. So we'll add in zombie head here in the middle. The two daylight detectors make them blue. And then another zombie head. I'm going to make it face towards the back so you don't see it from the front. And then we'll add in a warped uh, fence gate in the middle right behind that head. Okay, next, let's go down over here, add in lapsuli underneath this slab, and it's going to go all the way down. And then we'll fill in the back area like this. Then we'll uh, add it in front of this slab all the way to the front. Then we'll make the dynamic brake housing, so that's going to be uh, dark prism marine stairs facing the back. It lines up with the zombie head in the back. Then two nether brick stairs upside down. And then two dark prismarine stairs and the edge one's going to be cornered. 
add blue carpet on top. Then we will go in the front and the back of this dynamic brake housing and we'll add in lapsuli uh, right behind it. So I guess we'll punch a hole here. And we'll add in lapsuli in the inner part of this. Like that. Then we'll go on this side and we'll add lapsuli all the way to the bottom. And we'll fill in this area in like that. Then we'll fill in the layer all the way across the bottom row. Right to the gap. Then up over here, line up with this trap door, go all the way down left suli, and we're going to fill all this in. Like that. Okay, so next, uh, let's add in, I guess, part of the CSX boxcar logo. So, just take a oak slab, and we'll add that in the front layer, top. And then oak trap door underneath, I'm going to open that up. And an oak stairs facing inside, like that. And then oak slabs all the way across the middle. Then the inner part of this, we'll fill that in with lapis lazuli. Two block tall like that. All right, next we'll take a blue banner, add that to the side of this yellow. And then to the bottom here in the middle, we'll add dark oak buns spaced apart, three blocks like that. And underneath this last button, we'll add a uh, oak slab. And I'm gonna add that every other block towards the back. And I wonder if this last block is going to be... Okay, it is. And then we'll add in birch slabs in the space between like that. Also add in a blue glass pane right at this bottom corner. Like that. And then we'll add another brick fence at the bottom of this. Dark oak fence on top. Dark oak fence gate. Then two blocks tall, another brick fence like that. All right, then we're gonna extend, um, actually we'll need to add in the front fence too. So add another brick fence here, dangling down, and then two blocks tall, another brick fence. And then we'll add dark oak fence gate, another brick fence, two blocks tall. And we're gonna extend this fence gate and the fences all the way to reach the other side. So it should look like this. And we'll add black concrete in this little hole here. Also add black concrete inside of the cab. And also above these areas, above the wheels, so that there's no exposed hole that's sticking out. Alright, so now what we're going to do would make the door banners. So that's going to be, we'll require a loom. And we'll take a black banner and then a blue die. Put that inside the loom, so black banner, blue dye, and make a border around it. And then we're gonna fill in the bottom half of it, or bottom two thirds of it, with blue. And we'll add that to the front and the back of the cabs, or the cab, like that. Then we'll take a acacia bun, add that in front of this slab here, and a dark oak bun right down here lines up with that. And then two dark oak buns up over here of the CSX boxcar logo. Alright, so that's all we can do for this side. So to copy what we did over here and build the other half. Alright, so once we have both halves, let's go in the front of this hood. This side, we'll delete these two blocks. And we'll add in oak stairs. Like that. Left to the inside. Put back our warp button. And we'll add blue carpet above this um, yellow area on the hood, like a V shape like that. Then we'll go to this side and delete these two blocks here, add in two dark prismarine slabs. Then make a two by two of blue glass pane, then two prismarine walls here. Add lapsuli all the way across for the rest. All the way to that slab. Next we'll go on to the other side. And we're going to alternate this pattern, so it's going to be oak slabs every other block. And then birch slabs every other block. Right there, and add a dark prismarine slab on top of this lapis lily. <laughs> okay, so next we'll go over here. Um, we'll add a warped fence gate, open that up. 
and we'll add in a flower pot on top of it like that then we'll go down a block skip this block here punch a hole add a black concrete inside and we'll also add in a dark prismarine stairs that's going to be facing towards the front little window so next we'll make the CSX logo finish this up so take a just oak stairs we'll add in upside down facing the front right side up facing the front and upside down facing the front like that it's I guess like an alternating pattern upside down right side up upside down very easy to do CSX okay now we'll add in a uh, warp button dark oak button uh, is do we already get oak button no so oak button a cage button Let's see what else that I think that's it so we'll go in the front here add a dark oak button a birch button go up over here add a birch button dark oak button and then an oak button here a acacia button and then it I believe that's a birch button yeah like so so for this side there's going to be acacia button a birch button here birch button in front of this stairs Dangly up a birch button dark oak button over here and then a birch button lines up the bedrock like that then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate open that up so it's facing towards the slab here and the other side uh, that's going to be where this bell is so that's going to be a wither skeleton skull in the bottom corner like that then we'll go to the side here, add in a chain block sideways like that. Another chain block sideways on the other side. Then over here we'll add two birch buttons like that. Go back into the, f the back area. And we will add in a yellow glass pane at the tip here. Um, an oak fence gate at the bottom, open that up. And then a warp button right above that. And then the other side, it's going to be oak fence gates. Open that up towards the front, I mean the top area. So it should look like this. Then we'll go in the front where the hood is, add these two oak buttons like that. And then we'll add a, a blue banner right to the side of that yellow concrete on that side. Alright, so I think that is pretty much it on how to build the CSX GP38-2. Now let's convert it into a GP40. So the main difference is, as I said, um, the back radiator, there's another fan. So we're going to have to extend this section. So what we'll do here is we'll go to this uh, slab here. We'll delete these two blocks, both sides. And we will replace it with uh, dark oak. I mean, a dark prismarine stairs, top of the bottom. Side, same thing, top of the bottom. Then we'll punch in... Um, it's like two more blocks, so we'll make a two by two hole here. You know what? We'll just delete like a two by three by two section here. Leave these outer sections alone. Still need that, and then we'll add in two by two bedrock. That, and uh, we'll actually change this dark prismarine stairs to face the other direction, just to give it some more room. Then we'll add dark prismarine stairs uh, in the front area, top of the bottom, and then we'll connect the middle part together with a slab. Other side, we'll do the same thing. So it should look like this. Then on top, we'll add in a daylight detector, make it, I guess it is blue, right? And then we'll skip uh, these blocks here, punch in a hole here, and add blue carpet above all these areas. In between so that we have like three different distinct fans and then we'll go to this side and we'll actually have to move this uh, flower pot thing so actually delete this I know I said I said to keep before but actually we'll need to move it there will be zombie head uh, right here then we'll add in the flower pot on top get our pot 
and then we'll replace this uh, warp button with a uh, zombie head as well. Then we'll delete these two zombie heads in the middle. Don't need that anymore. And then we'll have to um, extend this dynamic break housing. So add in these two more stairs. And then a dark prismarine slot like that. Other side will do the same thing. Just change these into stairs and then add a slot. Blue carpet on top all the way across of this. Change this middle area into a dark oak trap door instead. Like that. Then we'll go to the back, change this pane into an oak button. Go down to here, add in a birch button here, birch button over here, delete this birch button. Uh, go in the front, delete this birch button. Then we'll move up to the other side. And we'll delete this wither skull and skull, replace it with a nether brick fence. And we'll move this birch button in the front, one block. And then we'll add in, uh, I'll actually move this birch button down one block. Like that. Then on top, in between these two snow layers, we'll add in um, blackstone button like that. And that is pretty much it on how to build the GP40-2. And that's it for the whole tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, if you do, hit that like button down below. As you can see, these two uh, locomotives are very, very similar. It's not that hard to change. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.